Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. What are we drinking today? Today we are drinking Chucky's Check Pills That Kills. Alright. Today we're going to bring to you a movie that was suggested by uh, one of our fans, uh, Deadpan80. I wonder <laughs> if that's his real name. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Deadpan. The movie is 1973's The Baby, directed by Ted Post. He did a lot of notable movies, to name a few, uh, Magnum Force. Hang 'em High, and uh, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. And Jeanette Comer stars in this. She was in oh, just tons of 70s shows. Ruth Roman is also in this, in like a thousand movies or whatever, so we're not going to mention any, except Strangers on a Train. Michael Pataki is in this, and uh, he was in Halloween 4. Spare me this speech. <laughs> I've been listening to it for a decade. Kid. The baby starts off with our main character, Anne Gentry, going to the Wadsworth house because she's a social worker and she's just been assigned to their case. They sit down and talk and we learn a bit of a backstory that the, the husband of the family took off right after this baby was born. They've been collecting welfare to support the family. She asks if she can see the baby. <laughs> the mother takes her upstairs to go see the baby. She looks in the crib and we find out it's a grown man. <laughs> in a giant crib, no in less. a giant crib <laughs> with the diaper on. Making like the baby noises yeah. too. <laughs> Baby does not actually have a name. It's just Baby. <laughs> yeah. Baby's name is Baby. There's also two other daughters in this family, and they're odd too. The family goes out one night and they get a babysitter. Baby wants to get out of the crib and keeps throwing its toy outside the crib. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll let you out. And she lets the baby out of this crib and it kind of flops out, right? And the legs don't work. Baby hits his head on this fireplace and <laughs> starts freaking out. And the babysitter takes the baby to kind of try to calm him down. And the baby starts latching on to the babysitter's breast. And the babysitter's like, no, baby, like, no, no, no. And then, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby. I just no allows it. Yeah, it just lets it happen. The family comes home and they got home a little early, so they go upstairs and open the door and see the fact that the baby's latched onto the babysitter's breast. Got your damn tit in his mouth, and that's nothing. <laughs> And the two daughters hold her down, and the mom, yeah. mother takes some belt out and starts whipping the babysitter with his belt. You want kicks? I'll give you kicks. And starts whipping her with that belt. One of the sisters comes to the baby's room at night. The nightgown drop, and she gets into the crib yeah. with the baby. Like, what? <laughs> What's and the cool? scene ends. Yeah. <laughs> Anne starts coming around more and more often. And she's getting kind of really obsessed with baby and always wants to play with the baby and push the baby's limits to see if it can kind of come out of this baby state. She's trying to get the baby to stand up in its crib. And then the mom comes and she's pissed off. Yeah. It cuts to the baby's room and they're all taking some cattle prod to baby. <laughs> yeah. Baby doesn't talk. Baby doesn't <laughs> walk. <laughs> <laughs> the mother invites Anne to Baby's birthday party. The mother and the daughters drug her drink, knocks Anne out a little bit, and they drag her into the basement and tie her up. While that's going on, Baby's on the floor playing, but sees all this happening. Baby slowly goes down while the mother and the daughters have gone upstairs again and deal with Dennis yeah, and everything. Yeah, they're all distracting <laughs> Dennis because he's kind of all into Anne. He's looking yeah, for her, yeah. so they, you send one of the daughters to hit on him. Would somebody deal with that idiot? <laughs> <laughs> She's all, like, torturing him, like, bur burning his, his hand with that flame and everything. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Baby goes downstairs and helps Anne get out of her restraints and everything. While the last people in the party leave the house, House, so does Anne with Baby. They go to follow Anne in their car, but Anne already punctured one of the tires. They're going to hatch another scheme to try and get Baby back. And that's where we're going to end it. If you want to see what happens with uh, the mother and the daughters, what happens with Anne and the Baby, keep watching. <laughs> it's a crazy movie. Uh, yeah, it's a wild um... movie. It's tons of fun. It's not a bad movie. It's kind no. of disguised as a B movie, but it's actually very, very good. Yeah, and it's extremely smart. Like, 
I think it takes maybe two times watching it to yeah. really start to get all the subtle undertones of it. But there's so much. You know, the baby is like a metaphor. Also, the movie is extremely uh, female dominated, right? Yeah. And the baby is like a male. And he's like an idiot, right? He's yeah. a baby. All the males in this movie are morons. And the women are strong. Women's lib, which they yeah. briefly mention a little bit starting to get stronger around here. The cast in this movie is is superb. Especially yeah. Ruth Roman as the mother figure. She is so good at playing oh, yeah. this kind of conniving, evil woman. Even Baby. You believe that yeah. Baby is actually a baby. Yeah. Or, or doesn't believe or isn't acting. Imagine going to audition for that role. Yeah. What am I reading for? Um, you're not reading anything. <laughs> you just... Uh, uh, just pretend to be a baby <laughs> and the sounds that the baby makes is kind of what really helps make this movie kind of off-putting mm -hmm. like the the crying and the whining <laughs> you're like oh like it's piercing your ears but at the same time it's kind of funny and it's it's, it's yeah it's a weird experience and Jeanette Comer does a great job of the sort of the obsessive character as well yeah. right you believe that she's slowly kind of going off the rails and getting obsessed with this baby. Right? Yeah, you can tell in her facial expressions and stuff, which is really good, that she is kind of into this baby thing, almost sexually into it. It almost seems like she's, like, attracted to this baby, and you're like, that's yeah. kind of a weird way to play it. But the movie is smart enough where all these weird things that happen in the beginning that you question, they all kind of get answered at the end. Yeah. Which is really neat. It's almost like a couple of twists at the end of this movie. Once it gets to the end, it's like, boom, it just, it's like, holy shit. You're sitting on the edge of your yeah. seat wondering what's going to happen next. Yeah. It's wild. It's a wild ride. And the payoffs in this movie as you get to them are, are perfectly placed. Exactly. It's just enough to keep you hanging on yeah. till the next weird thing the next happens, weird right? thing you think it can't get any weirder like oh it just did. yeah here's the cattle prod yeah. it's that underlying current in the movie too that makes you question who's really the sane one here yeah and who's the insane is it like nobody seems to ever question that this baby is a grown man. Yeah, it's nobody. Just, it's just normal. It's just accepted. Like at the birthday party, everyone's dancing and like... Yeah, and the baby's there. The baby's like, there in the high chair eating a cake <laughs> and everything and crawling around. And yeah, it's like... <laughs> not, not one person's like, what the fuck is this? That's what we'd probably do yeah. if we walked into the party. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Probably even say that to the mother. Do you realize what... <laughs> you realize what you're doing here? <laughs> Even the babysitter, like, if you're called for a babysitter gig, oh, I, need a, I need a sitter tonight, okay, you know, walk in as a fucking man, you're like, <laughs> it's like okay, um, sure. <laughs> now, our channel is a horror movie channel, and this movie doesn't really kind of get into the horror end of things until probably the last 20 minutes of the movie. It's more of a black comedy with some pretty crazy social commentary that yeah. is kind of what the movie really is at its heart. Nowadays, remakes are constant. You could never remake this movie. No. Uh, you'd just never be able to capture that magic and the sort of, that social commentary, yeah. the, the underlining black comedy yeah. stuff in it. So if you're in the mood for a one hell of a wacky fucking movie. <laughs> fun though. Yeah, it's a fun movie. <laughs> it's full of surprises. It's full of laughs. It's definitely a movie that you need to see once in your life at least. Keep, Keep drinking. drinking.